we have successfully set value for a p tag in the last lesson. The content of the p tag is retrieved from the message property. In this lesson, we will explore the mechanism of the program. You will need to turn on your console table. We need to do tests using it. The view instance we use actually involves three objects. The first object is returned by the view method. We call it VM object. The second object is the argument value of the view method. We call it argument object. The third object is the value assigned to the data property. We call it data object. Property and method cannot be used alone. They must be prefixed with their object name. Most importantly, they must be prefixed with the right object name. This is a common sense of object-oriented programming. Let's say we want to output the value of the message property. What should we do? Take a close look at the program. The message property does not belong to the VM object. It belongs to the data object. So according to our previous OOP knowledge, if we connect message to VM, we will not get anything because VM is not the correct object name. But let's uh, try anyway. Okay, the result is quite shocking. VM.message has worked, seriously, it has worked. Let's assign a new value to VM.message. Now, we got something even more shocking. It, it worked again. The content of the P tag has been changed into what we have just assigned to VM.message. VM.message should never have worked, but the experiment we just did has proved otherwise. So why? A short answer is proxy. Proxy is a new feature adopted by JavaScript 2015. Vue has deployed and benefited from this feature. Proxy is a meta programming concept. In simple words, Proxy allows one program to directly control another one. In Vue, Proxy allows us to control properties of the data object from the VM object as if they belong to the VM object. Everything the data object has is now at the disposal of the VM object. This is why vm.message works. Proxy also works on methods. For example, we got two objects here, worker and toolbox. The worker object needs a hammer method, but it does not have one. The toolbox object has the hammer method we need. Before the proxy feature was introduced, we could only access the hammer using toolbox.hammer, but this can be inconvenient. Proxy has solved this problem for us. The worked object can proxy the toolbox object. Then the worker object will gain all methods the toolbox object has, including the hammer method. As a result, we can use the hammer using worker.hammer. Now, let's prove proxy works on methods. Next to the data property, we add a new property, methods. Its value is also a JSON object. All view methods are defined here. Defining a view method follows a fixed pattern, method name, colon, and anonymous function. We name the method output, then colon and anonymous function. Inside the anonymous function, we call the alert function. We output 123 using it. The output method is now ready. How do we execute it? Just like the model object, the methods object is proxied by the VM object as well. This means the output method is regarded as the VM object's own method. So 
vm.output. Output is a method, not a property, so we need a parentheses here. Press enter. We can see we got one, two, three. Our conclusion from the last lesson has been proved. The output method behaves as if it belonged to the VM object. Let's go back to the program we used in the last lesson. Both the data and methods objects are proxied by the VM object. We can access the message property using vm.message. We can also access the output method using vm.output. So what is the relationship between the message property and the output method? The conclusion is, when two objects are being proxied by the same object, their methods and properties will behave as if they belong to the same object. Do you know what that means? The data object only has properties. The methods object only has methods. Both the two objects are proxied by the VM object. This means methods can directly access properties using the keyword this. So, in the parentheses of the alert function, we put this.message. Run the program. We can see the output method has successfully retrieved and displayed the value of the message property. In the future, your view program will usually look like this. In the argument object, there are four properties, L, data, computed, and methods. The data is for storing data. The computed and methods objects are for processing data. With the proxy feature, computed and methods can conveniently access data stored in the data object.